Thompson Farmstead, um, it's a historic uh, uh, little park inside of Mesquite. The land where Mesquite, Texas now sits was once occupied by the Caddo Indian tribe, known for their farming skills. Between 1680 and 1790, the Caddo met annually with members of the Tawakani and Ioni tribes uh, for a trading fair and tournament. But in 1878, Mesquite was founded as uh, Mesquite Creek, through which the Texas and Pacific Railway ran on its way to Shreveport, Louisiana. The town was officially incorporated in 1887. In 1878, shortly after the railway was opened, prominent outlaw Sam Bass robbed a train and stole $30,000. Uh, that was a lot of money back in those days. But today, Mesquite is known as the rodeo capital of Texas, and uh, rodeo fans come from all over the country to go to its famous uh, Mesquite Rodeo. But for most of its history, Mesquite was known for its farms, where cotton, hay, corn, and sugar were harvested. Uh, in 2019, the population was over 140,000. And Teresa and I got a chance to visit the historical park, Opal Lawrence Historical Park, here in Mesquite, which is named for one of its uh, prominent members. But we took pictures this week instead of videos. Yeah. Because it was a live tour and they're sketchy about you recording them. Right on. Yeah, so the Lawrence family is a very prominent family here in Mesquite. And, uh, in the late 19th century, a man named John Lawrence from Maryland met a woman named Fanny Coates from Tennessee. They got married and moved to Mesquite, Texas, where uh, John acquired a lot of land. And in 1874, he deeded his 21-year-old son, Stephen Land, 640 acres, and Stephen built a three-room house on the land. A few years later, he hired a contractor to build an additional 14 rooms because his family was growing and they needed the space. Later, they built a kitchen and a Belvedere tower on the top. And the home's condition hasn't changed a lot in all these years. It's still standing, though there have been some modifications. It does include uh, several outbuildings, including a smokehouse, a brick-lined root cellar, a wash house, a large livestock barn, and a mule barn. And there are also several chicken coops on the property that are still intact. Now, the Lawrence family lived here. Some of its members lived here until 1995. Stephen married a woman named Louisa Porter, who was from Mesquite, in 1878, in the same year that Sam Bass uh, robbed the train here in Mesquite, a very famous robbery. They had three children, but Louisa died before her kitchen could be built. She had requested the kitchen, but never got to use it. One of their sons, a man named John, I believe, uh, served as mayor of Mesquite three different times. So this was a, a prominent family in the area. Stephen himself had a thing for women named Louisa because after his first wife died, he married a second woman named Louisa Walker from Missouri. They had five daughters, uh, Ruby, Pearl, Opal, Garnet, and Onyx. And if you recognize those names, you know those are gemstones. Their three sons had more ordinary names, Eddie, Hugh, and Hill. I don't know why they didn't name Eddie and Hugh after terrain features. They could have been called Lake and Depression. Okay, now, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Just having fun. Steve served, Stephen served on the committee to establish Mesquite ISD and was also active in raising funds to start the first school here in Mesquite. Three of the daughters, Opal, Onyx, and Garnet, lived on the family farm their whole lives. They raised cattle and hens and, in fact, they had a pretty good slate of customers for their eggs for many, many years, well into the 20th century. Two of the girls, Opal and Garnet, never married. Onyx married a man named Fowler Summers, and he lived on the farm with the three sisters. But he died in 1981, and Garnet followed a few days later. Opal and Onyx stayed on the farm until 1995 when they both died. Opal's will bequeathed the property to the city of Mesquite along with two acres of land. The city purchased another 11 acres that also included the horse barn and the other outbuildings. 
and that property today is this historic park. Uh, the interior of the house is quite beautiful. As you can see from the pictures, it includes a lot of the original furniture that Opal and Onyx owned while they were alive. The farm also includes a cabin which was built in 1845. Uh, it's one of the oldest buildings in eastern Dallas County. The cabin was not on this property originally. It was purchased by a resident of Sunnyvale, another nearby city, uh, and moved here later after the Lawrences died. Another building on the property is the New Hope Baptist Church building, which is being restored, and the plans are to use it someday for weddings and other activities uh, such as that. Mesquite is typically considered today a suburb of Dallas, though it is its own separate incorporated city. It, uh, I guess you can call it a suburb. It, it butts up against Dallas. The city limits run together and uh, in many ways uh, you leaving Mesquite entering Dallas it's hardly noticeable and, uh, uh, unless you see the sign. Uh, same way going back the other direction. Uh, from leaving Dallas, entering Mesquite, uh, and it's much that way in, in just about every metropolis in America. But this is Mesquite. It's well known as a city itself, uh, apart from Dallas, uh, because of its rich history uh, in farming and rodeo and, uh, you know, the railway, of course, Sam Bass's robbery. So anyways, other than... Other than the noise of traffic around this park, though, when you're standing on this park, you could be in in the actual country and and not even realize you're in the city. Yeah, the park the park is well preserved. The buildings are well preserved. I was actually pretty uh, impressed with how well preserved all of the buildings are. Uh, the main house is well deserved, well preserved. The cabin that sits on the house is well preserved. All of the outbuildings, the livestock barn was pretty impressive. Yeah, um, that one, uh, the livestock barn, I don't think has had as much work done on it as the rest. Although yeah. it is very well preserved, um, I know that they have worked quite a lot on the wash house and the curing shed and they have plans to actually open up that root cellar to to the public at a later date yeah so if you're not familiar with root cellars you just um, go down in it's sort of a basement but there's no floor and so this you just one go has down a floor. did it have a floor have it a has a floor it's a brick it's a brick root cellar yeah a lot of them don't have floors so you just go down and it's dirt but uh, the idea is to keep your your root vegetables cool, so you have potatoes and onions and pumpkins and, and stuff and in you Texas, store down there. It so. also serves as a storm shelter because you know tornadoes. Yeah, 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 and they could also be used as storm shelters because you do have tornadoes in this part. In fact, Mesquite's been hit by a few uh, tornadoes over the years, uh, and so just as many many towns in this area have so. Anyways, this was our trip in Mesquite, Texas. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And uh, we're signing off. If you enjoy what we're doing here, uh, give us a like, subscribe, and share us with your friends. See you next week.